Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Danny here. Today's video will be three part video. First part will be unbox an unboxing of this spray gun, this Wagner spray gun that I got for my birthday. I haven't yet opened it. The second part of this video, I'll be upcycling using my spray gun. So I found a little bedside table on the side of the road for free. A little wooden one, I'll be using this to upcycle. I'll be spraying it, maybe changing the handles, that sort of thing. And the third part of the video will be flipping that and just seeing how much money I can get for it, advertising it. And so that'll all be included on this video. Okay, so I got this Wagner spray gun from my kids for my birthday. It was my birthday at the end of September and they gave it to me. Um, yeah, and Georgia <laughs> gave me this little card. It was from all of them, from Sophie, Brandon and Georgia. Um, yeah, and Georgia gave me, well made me this little card. She also got me a Zarefa's card as well. And um, I may have hinted that I wanted this. I may have hinted. Actually, I did hint. <laughs> Uh, and generally I paint with paintbrushes and I really enjoy doing that, it's therapeutic for me, I like doing that and I've never had much luck with spraying using the spray cans because I find it really uncomfortable and they can tend to come out in big globs which become really obvious on the furniture. Um, so it will be interesting to use one of these and I mean this should be a lot different to one of those little handheld spray cans anyway. So this is a wood and metal paint sprayer W200 paint spraying system. It, I know it's, it's for small to medium projects and it will paint five meters squared which will take about nine minutes. So I assume that this here will take the amount of paint it takes to do five meters squared. Gosh. So that's the actual box. That's what the box looks like. I'll now maybe delve into it and see what's inside. So as you can see, the seal's still on there. So I'll take it off. I should really have a pair of scissors, but I'll just peel it from the top. Just pop it down there. Open it up. That if you have any questions or problems, um, you can go into their website. Also, accessories at Wagner, you will find a wide range of accessories. So it's advertising different accessories for this as well. Okay, that's just a bit of cardboard I might be able to use for something. Okay, so the first thing I'll be removing is the actual container for the paint. We've got a hose. This is the hose the spray goes through, I gather. Right. Oh. Don't know what that is. Another piece of something like that. And this looks like the actual motor and the cord because it's an electric one. This will plug in to the electricity. We have the operating instructions. And the warranty, actually, I wonder if the kids kept the receipt. I'd have to ask them about that. And we have something else. What is it? Okay, so we have this strap with a little buckle like this. And I'll just be threading it through here. Like so, and then threading the end of it through the buckle. And then through through this part of the buckle. And I gather that that can be adjustable. So if you need to adjust it, you can pull it down to make it longer or shorter. 
And so we'll do the same on the other side. So the next step is to align the suction tube. If you are spraying, it says horizontal surfaces, which is what I'll pretty much be doing with my furniture. Um, it says to put the nozzle at the front. So that's the nozzle and the tube will go that way. If I was doing say a ceiling or something like that, I would place it at the back. This goes in here. Like that. <laughs> I can see this is a disaster when I start spraying. And then we get the other part of the hose and put it in the back. It doesn't seem to click in, it just sort of... You can't hear an audible click as such, you just, you just push it in. So this must be the gun holder. And we will just... Before when I had it in, it didn't seem to be sitting quite right. I think that's right. Well, that's clicked in anyway. So we've clicked the holder, the spray part. We've attached the hose to here. And to here, I think that that's probably about it as far as putting it together. So what is this ring for? Okay, I think that little red thing, it's got on the packet, it says it's a nozzle seal. So this must just actually be a spare part um, because there's already a nozzle seal in there. Oops. <laughs> you can see there. Um, yeah, so I'll just have to put this somewhere safe because it may need replacing at some point. Okay, so I'll just put this back on. I'd say this, you can take this apart for easier cleaning, uh, but I'll screw this back on. But when you move this here, it will adjust the amount of paint that it lets flow out. So if you want a really, really fine spray, I gather, you just put it up that end, a really thicker sort of more flowing spray. Um, will be down the bottom so yeah this little nozzle will adjust that so you can have the nozzle horizontal you can have it vertical or on a diagonal it has an instruction here if you have it I'll probably have it up and down because that's the way I will be spraying um, long ways if I'm spraying up and down say there's a long thin strip I want to spray I would have it that way and I think these are guards so that uh, the paint is sort of directed into the area you want um, these little things here and so there's not too much overspray if it's on a diagonal I think if you want to get into specific tight little spots corners and that sort of thing it's a more of a controlled sort of flow so I'll be aligning the suction tube so it's straight ahead that will be for my furniture things this back on 